he kind of missed his turn. Hello and welcome to the My Wool Mitten podcast. My name is Carrie and I'm coming to you from the middle of the mitten, Michigan's lower peninsula, where I live on a small sheep farm with my family all around, Kyle the Wonder Horse, Bee Cat the Fantastic Cat, and my little farm dog Bailey. If this is your first time here, welcome, welcome, welcome. And if you are a returning viewer, thank you so much for hanging around, for coming back when it's been such a long time since I've put up a podcast or a vlog. Here on the farm at the end of July, beginning of August, the beans are finally starting to produce. There's loads of tomatoes, but they're still green. These sunflowers that you're seeing here are nearly all self-seeded from last year. I leave the stalks, I cut them down in the fall and leave them, and then we get new growth coming up. The ones on the back side were planted, but I had to plant them twice, and I had purchased some new seed, and they didn't come up. So all of these are from saved seed, all that you're seeing here. These sunflower seeds were the exception. These were my Hopi dye sunflower seeds. Um, I was hoping to gather the seeds for dyeing. And what do you suppose, after they finally sprouted, Kyle the Wonder Horse decided to eat reach over the fence and eat the sunflowers. He has all of this pasture. He was in the mood for sunflowers, I guess. So, and what did he eat but those, not the other tall ones. So that's why this old screen door lattice is out there to keep him from reaching over, which has worked. So here in our farm garden at the end of July, the Japanese beetles are devouring any small fruit that I'm growing, especially the grapes. The tomato hornworm has totally decimated at least two pepper plants. And I know it was a tomato hornworm because I picked them off and squashed them. After they had eaten, one plant had five peppers on it. They ate every bit of pepper. The groundhogs, woodchucks, are bur trying to burrow under the barn. And that's where having a good farm dog, Bailey, comes in really handy. Deer are trying to get into my pasture. We haven't had that happen in years. I've got a um, good solid fence, an electric fence on the top. Again, I'm going to swing a little bit. This is all corn, totally surrounding me. Evidently deer want a little variety, and so they're jumping in and eating the pasture. And I'm tired of feeding deer my hay and pasture. But anyway, and that's my I'll complaint for the that a little later. So let me make my way back around the sunflowers and we'll get started on today's vlog. It's going to be just bits and pieces um, as I get back into the habit of podcasting and editing and such. So it might be a little choppy, but I just wanted to get something up for you guys. So you'll see a little bit of sheep. Um, not Probably not any knitting or spinning, maybe a little bit of fiber talk and then some pasture talk. And at the end, I'm going to take you on a little tour of my gardens. And so that will be at the end. And if you're not interested in that, you can easy, easily shut that off. But if you don't already, I hope you'll click the like and subscribe button. I hope you'll go over to Instagram and follow me where I'm at my wool mitten farm. And uh, just leave a comment, say hello, tell me what you're doing, what you're growing. Um, yeah, just say hi. So again, welcome. I'm glad that you're here, and let's get started on these little video clips that I put together. It's an absolutely glorious day here, the kind of summer days that you just love and that come all too rarely. The humidity is down, the temperature is down, there's a cool breeze and the sun is shining. And how great it is to have that cool breeze when we've got a wagon load of hay to finish unloading. This was bonus hay for me. Um, I wasn't expecting to have the chance to get it. And so um, a neighbor wanted to borrow my hay wagon. He was putting up a field of hay and he had more bales than he thought. 
I asked if by chance he was going to sell any of that hay, and he was. And usually you can buy hay just a little bit cheaper when you buy it right out of the field. And it was on my wagon anyway, so he brought it over and backed it in the barn, and my grandson will be here in a few minutes, and we'll get this unloaded. So I'm so appreciative of it. Super, super happy to have it. It means I can maybe keep a few extra sheep this winter. <laughs> We'll talk about that more later. So hopefully next time you see me, this wagon will be unloaded. Good morning from a damp and soggy Michigan farm morning. I'm going to take a walk out in the pasture today, this morning. I need to check and see if it's time to move the sheep to their other pasture. So I thought I'd take you along with me. We could walk out and see how grazed down it is. Here's Kyle. He's going to make his comments. And you can see how wet it is. We got a ton of rain yesterday, so we need to put some new bedding in here. They're in a little bit of a tighter quarter because they're in a smaller pasture area. And actually, this is going to work to my advantage today because we're going to check everybody, catch everybody up, uh, check them over, see if anybody needs any worming, and we need to do our routine vaccinations for the lambs. So you're going to see a little quite a mixture in the flock here. These big ones with the long tails are the Corridale Shetland Cross, and then you can kind of see the little Shetlands here. That girl back there is a Corridale Cross. Coriander, Okapi. Okapi's Ram Lamb. Okapi's You. That's the yearling Tomoa back in there. So anyway, I'm going to pause the video and we're going to walk out and I'm going to apologize. It's probably going to be a choppy walk. I need to get a new one of those handheld things. But anyway, let's take a walk out and check the pasture. Oh, and there's my little bottle lamb, Urban. He's actually being weaned from his bottle, so he's just getting one a day. <laughs> he's not sure about that yet. Let's take a walk. This is Style, and she definitely needs to have her lamb weaned off of her. She's my only rough-looking sheep, I think. Even Hilda, at 14, still looks to be in good shape. This is Malala. Again, the more and the white and the gray you lamb. Oh, and this is um, a yearling. This is Shetland ram lamb. This is Style's lamb. You can see why she looks so skinny. Isn't he handsome? Both these guys are. Style, you're looking so rough, honey. We'll take care of that. This is another yearling. Yearling. And two-year-old. This yearling and this two-year-old are full sisters. 
I like the color on this little ewe lamb. I bet you'd like a little alone time. Get some extra groceries. Pretty girl. I just mentioned the style that I wanted to get her extra groceries. She doesn't really need the extra groceries as far as pasture. I don't know if you can see. There's a lot out here, a lot. So that's good. I can keep them in this lot for a little bit longer, and that's okay. It gives the other one a chance to grow back. The urban's doing a little sampling. But where Style needs the extra groceries, not the extra groceries. She just needs to have her lamb off of her, give her a chance to bounce back. So we will do that today. Be time to wean him. Urban has done really well. We've never had an issue with scouring or anything. One good thing, he's been able to stay right with the flock. He's never had to be separated, and that helps. He'll be a fleece weather. Don't like to have bottle lambs to be rams. But so, anyway, I thought I'd swing up here and show you the morning sky. So I hope this wasn't too choppy of a walk for you. Over here is the other pasture that they'll go to next. Right now, Kyle, the horse is out there. More grass than he needs, too, but that's helping keep it in under control while the sheep are in this pasture. So there's our morning walk. Get back up to the barn, and I'll talk to you again real soon. The rest of this video, the next five minutes or so, is just to walk around some of my gardens in the middle of July, um, partly to document for myself where things are at at that time of the year. So if you don't care to watch it, um, I'll say goodbye for now and hope you'll come back again soon. But I would love if you'd take a walk around with me. Grab a cup of coffee and let's just cruise around the garden and see what's going on there. But if you don't want to, I'll say goodbye and I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.